Hello everyone. In this method of Vedic Maths, we will learn how to calculate the square root and cube root of a number by just looking at them. This method is useful for students of class 9 and above. First, let's have a look at the trick of square root of a number. Now, before including that, let's see three important points that we need to remember. The first, that we will be only dealing with perfect squares. Second, a perfect square will always end with digits other than 2, 3, 7 and 8. That means if a number is ending with 2, 3, 7 or 8, that means it is an imperfect square or not a perfect square. Now this table will be very helpful for us and we need to keep this in mind that if a square is ending with 1, that means its square root will end in 1 or 9. If a square is ending with 4, that means its square root will end in 2 or 8. If a square is ending with 6, the square root will end in 4 or 6. If a square is ending with 9, the square root will end with 3 or 7. Similarly, if a square is ending with 25 or double zeros, its square roots will end in 5 or 0 respectively. This is so because square of 1 is 1, square of 9 is 81 which ends with 1. So, if a square is ending with 1, its square root will end with 1 or 9. The same concept can be applied to all these numbers that the square of 2 is 4, square of 8 is 64 that ends in 4. Square of 4 is 16, again ending with 6. Square of 6 is 36, which ends with 6. Similarly, square of 3 is 9, square of 7 is 49. Both of them ends with 9. Square, square of 5 is 25 and square of 1 0 or you can say for example 10 is 100 that ends with double zeros. Now let's see an example and understand the steps involved. The first step here is that we need to find out the square root of 2116. The first step involves making a partition of my number starting from the right hand side and dividing it into two parts with each part having two digits. So starting from the right, my RHS that is the right hand side has two digits which is 16 and the remaining digits that is LHS is 21. Now since my square is ending with 6 here, that means my square root will either end with 4 or with 6. The next step here is to see with, between which square numbers does 21 lies. So 21 lies between the square of 4 and 5 that is 16 and 25. Now from here we always choose the lower number. So that means my square root can either be 44 or 46. Now to choose between them we will find the product of 4 and 5, that is 20. And now, comparing 20 and 21, we observe that our number here, that is 21, is greater than the product. That means, we will consider the bigger number. Hence, the square root of 2116 is 46. Now, let's see another example. Here we have a five digit number or five digit square number which is 59,049. Now the first part remains the same that is dividing the number in such a way that the RHS has two digits. After doing this my right hand side has 49 and my left hand side has the remaining three digits which is 590. Now since the number is ending with 9 my square root will have either 3 or 7 at the rightmost place. Now, 590 lies between the square numbers of 24 and 25. That means it lies between the square of 24 
and 25. Now considering the lower number here, my square root will either be 243 or 247. Finding the product of 24 and 25, I get 600. Now comparing 590 and 600, we observe that 590 is less than 600. Hence, we choose the lower number. So, the square root of 59,049 is 243. Now, let's understand how to find out the cube root of a number. Here again, this table is very helpful. One th things that we need to keep in mind are that the cubes ending in 146950 will have cube roots ending with the same digits. That means 146950 respectively. Now, if the cube is ending with 2, my cube root will end in 8. If the cube is ending with 8, the cube root will end in 2. If the cube is ending with 3, the cube root will end in 7. And if the cube is ending with 7, the cube root will end in 3. Let's see an example and understand the method. Now we need to find out the cube root of 50,653. The difference that we will observe here is that while partitioning the number from the right hand side, we will consider that at the right hand side we will have three digits. So my RHS is 653 and the remaining digit, say 50 here, is my left hand side. Now the cube is ending with 3. That means the cube root of my number will be ending with 7. This we get from this table. That if my cube is ending with 3, my cube root will end with 7. Now we will observe that 50 lies between the cube number of which numbers? So 50 lies between the cubes of 3 and 4. Considering the number at the lower end, that means 3, the cube root of 50 will be 37. Here 46 is written by mistake. So the cube root of 50,653 will be 37. Let's see one more example. Here we have a bigger number, say a six digit number, 1,57,464. The method here remains same. The difference that we will observe here is that the left hand side will have three digits and the right hand side will also have three digits. Now here the number is ending with four. That means the units place will end with four only of my cube root number. 157 lies between the cube numbers of 5 and 6. So, considering the lower number, the cube root of 1,57,464 is 54. I hope you understood the method. Stay tuned for learning more such tricks using Vedic Maths. Thank you.